guys, it's Liz or here, and today I would like to show you how to use keyframes in video editing. Now I'm using a program called Premiere Pro, but this kind of knowledge applies to any video editing software, so don't worry if you're not using Premiere Pro. However, this will not work in Windows Movie Maker, so I, I don't know why you're still using that to be honest. <laughs> So let's start this off by talking about what a keyframe actually is. I like to think of a keyframe as a point in time where a clip is doing something specific. So let me show you what a keyframe looks like. To get to keyframes in Premiere Pro, you simply click on the clip and a window will open up here called Effect Controls. Now, what you'll need to do next, or what I normally do, is to drag this little thing further wide. So this is your timeline. When I move the marker along, you can see it's moving along up there. So this is a representation of the clip in this window. So what I want to do today, if you can see here that uh, I'm being attacked by Charmander in GTA and it kills me. So what I want to do is zoom in on my character at the exact point that I die for like comedic effect, which I do a lot in my videos. You might have seen this if you have watched one of my videos. So what we need to do is go to the exact point where I die. I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to scroll through the footage and I'm looking for... He's reaching to hit me. There we go. I just died. So now we're at the exact moment where I have died <laughs> and what I need to do is mark these points in time so that we can zoom in on it later. So how I mark these points, uh, how basically how you create a keyframe is really easy. You just go over to this bar and you'll see that there are a bunch of options. It looks really confusing, but all you need to do is press this button and it adds a keyframe. This is a keyframe. This keyframe is telling the computer that at this moment in time, the film looks like this. So to do this zoom, I want to change the position of the footage, the scale of the footage and the rotation. So I'm editing in 60 FPS, which means that every second 60 frames are being shown. And to get the kind of comedic, quick, snappy zoom that I like to use, I use one tenth of a second, which would be six frames. If you're confused, just remember the number six and you'll be fine. So what we do is we scroll backwards in time with the arrow keys again, we scroll back six frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you can see, my little cursor thing has moved. So this looks a little bit confusing. So what I'm gonna do is zoom in on this timeline using the plus button on my keyboard. Make sure the window's selected, select the window and press plus and you can zoom in, there we go. And what we're gonna do, this is where our zoom begins. So again, we're gonna mark some more points in time. So at this point in time, the footage is normal. And at this point in time, we want the footage zoomed in. So all you need to do to do this kind of thing is a beginning and an end. So all we do is at this point in time, we just zoom in on my character. There we go. All I did was just drag the scale slider and it zoomed in. Now, if you click on motion, you can just adjust the position of the clip. So I'm going to center on his head and I'm also going to rotate it slightly because I think it's funny when you rotate stuff. It just looks cool. And there we go. At this point in time, it is zoomed in on our character. And at this point in time, the footage is normal. So let's watch it and see what I did. Did you see that? It just really quickly, snappily zoomed in. So six frames is what I use when I want to do like a comedic zoom. But in case you ever wanted to do like maybe a slow zoom, all you have to do is increase the amount of time between your beginning and end keyframes. Really easy to do. Just select them and drag them across. So now at this point in time, the footage is normal. And at this point in time, it's zoomed again, but we have more time in between our keyframes. So when I press play now, the zoom is a lot slower. And you can even make it really, really slow. You can do anything you want. So let's say I get hit by the Charmander. Wee! <laughs> and that's it. That's how easy it is to create keyframes. Now, this doesn't just apply to zooming in. You can use keyframes for anything. All they do is just mark a point in time where something is doing something and stuff changes in between your points in time. For example, I can raise the volume. So at this time, it is minus 10. But let's say, let's go back 20 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. That sounded about right. And I press here. And all we do, let's say uh, it's going to be quiet here. So it's minus 40. And as you can see, these little keyframes have appeared on the audio. So all it does is go from very, very quiet to loud. Boom. And our weird slow zoom. <laughs> that looks so dramatic. And keyframes can be used for absolutely any effect in Premiere Pro and any editing software you're using. You can use it to mark like opacity. You can do literally anything you could possibly ever want. And all I say is just have a play. Mess around with them. Anytime you see this little stopwatch button, that means you can make a keyframe. 
and it's just pretty cool. So this was the very, very basics of keyframes, how to zoom in and zoom out on stuff. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. This is my first time making a tutorial. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I will make a more advanced version of this video so you can learn how to do more stuff. So thanks very much for watching. I hope I could help you and I will see you in the next video.